everybody. How are you all doing? Top of the evening to everyone. Well, I decided I was going to kick back tonight, relax, enjoy my Peterson Rossler Classic 150 FT Bulldog Pipe and put some of this in it. This is Orlick, the Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky Tobacco. Heard quite a bit about this one. So I had this tin sitting around since August 31st of last year, so I decided it was time to try it. Uh, and I decided to enjoy a Michelob Amber Bach with it. Friday night. What better night to um, get a bowl of Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky fired up and going. Boy, this stuff is really good. It's the first time I've ever had it. Um, Now I see where it gets its reputation at. This is quite the blend. Quite the blend. It's, uh... Upon opening the tin... You get this nice little, um... Placard. Goes over top of the tobacco. Is smoked by all shrewd judges. A rich grade, a high grade pipe tobacco. And when you look in the tin, you see it's quite attractive looking. It's got the um, the uh, dark fired Kentucky on the side with this stripe of Virginia in the middle. Very good. One of the very better, much better Virginias that I've had to this point. Mm. It's very good with this Amber Bach. Wearing my favorite shirt again as of late. <laughs> Gonna make my laundry bill high. But we won't talk about that. But anyway, yeah, it comes in these nice little um, pieces that are layers of flakes. Very good. Deep, uh, rich uh, tobacco flavor. Very, uh, I imagine this has got to be full body. Mmm. Has a very good taste to it. You're going to see I'm crazy with it. Almost tastes a little bit like barbecue bacon or, or something like you know, heavily barbecued. And on the back, it describes it as a unique mix of selected ripe Virginia tobaccos and dark fired Kentucky tobacco. Gives this blend its characteristic and unmatchable taste. The flake cup provides a beautiful contrast. Do you believe I can't read the rest of that because I actually wrote the date over top of it okay here it is the flake 
cup provides a beautiful contrast between the bright and dark tobaccos. Hey, this is um, one of the better, one of the better tobaccos that I have had. Well, you may want to make a note of this. That Peter Heinrich's Dark Strong Flake is exactly the same as this. It's the same thing. It's just, from what I understand, it's uh, produced by Orlick for Peter Heinrich. So, um, aging, would this be a lot better aged? Well, this tin's been sitting since August 31st, and I don't really know how to read the respective date on this number here. Uh, it could be 15, it could be September. 15 and if that's the case it's got two years or close to two years on it but regardless it's it's good it's good stuff by no means a docile tobacco I would suggest smoking this on a full stomach after dinner now supposedly this has a licorice flavor to it but I love it when she does that <laughs> Anyway, I am I'm halfway down the bowl right now. And um definitely has a more flavorful um, uh, taste to it getting halfway down the bowl um, This is a hard one to really describe. Um, I want to shove my nose back in this tin for a second here. Got to look at this guy again. Isn't he kind of strange looking? Hmm. Huh. I used to have a neighbor I used to have. Anyway. I do get a whiff of, uh, like I said, brown sugar. Um, definitely molasses. That's what I'm getting here, molasses. And um, a little bit of a tea kind of flavor too. But the brown sugar is definitely in there and in the taste the sweetness tea kind of flavor definitely molasses um a lot of molasses flavor yes very very much so so that's what i'm gonna go with uh My taste book, my um, nostril sensors are starting to uh, numb up now, so 
I'm going to stop sniffing this for a while. Um, uh, anyway, it's kind of... Um, That's about it, folks. That's all I'm getting. I can say it is very, very full of flavor. Very rich and very full of flavor. If you like your tobacco like this, then you'll want to you want to get yourself some of this and try it because it really does just kind of don't know what to do with this guy yet. Um, looks like somebody from a weird costume party or out of the Rocky Horror Picture Show or uh, hmm Monty Python <laughs> I don't know man <laughs> the professor from Back to the Future nah cool though kind of a cool little uh, card they put in there I'm gonna actually jar this up right away I'm gonna put it in a little uh, mason jar so but I'm rather enjoying this tobacco a lot more than other tobaccos. With a nice cold brew. So, um, how can it hurt? Order a tin, buy it. Um, try it out. From what I understand, it wasn't available for the longest time. And then, um, demand and pressure brought it back. So, um, it's here so get yourself some and smoke some and enjoy it and see try it out see how you like it and if you don't like it you can always send me the rest of it nah just kidding I'm all the way down to the bottom of the bowl now and it's it's smoking very flavorful all the way down to the bottom of the bowl so It packs well, right out of the tin, lights well. Um, it's a little bit moist, but burns perfectly to a fine white ash and tastes wonderful the whole way down the bowl. So I definitely rate this as a very good tobacco. And I like the taste of real tobacco, and to me this is a real tobacco. This is a great pipe to smoke Virginia's in, by the way. I think I found the ideal uh, blend to smoke in my Rossler here, because this really goes good with it. Anyway. Just wanted to run that by you and see how you like the idea of this. And maybe you should give it a try. And I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.